The Health and Social Care Academy helps to shape the future of health and social care. It creates a space for collaborative thinking, the sharing of evidence and learning, and promoting the voice of lived experience. The Academy's five ambitions set out the conditions for achieving long-term, meaningful and sustainable change. This series aims to highlight how the ambitions can be applied in action. Reimagine investment. We can transform society for everyone's benefit with sustainable investment, patience, partnership and value in one another. Social Security Scotland invests in people by recognising the human right to social security, ensuring that everyone is treated with dignity, fairness and respect. So, I mean, within Social Security Scotland, we've worked really hard to try and enshrine what we do um, in a human rights based approach. Not only do we have the right values within the organisation, so you hear us speak an awful lot about dignity, fairness, and respect, but actually those values ring true in terms of what it is that we are as an organisation that feeds through to our culture, um, but also how we interact with our clients. Right from the outset, in terms of kind of thinking through the, the kind of policy context that, that sits behind this. We work with people with lived experience through experience panels um, in various different other means so that when we did this we had the right ethos that, that lived behind that and I would kind of hark back to the, the point and values that, that I made and indeed that, that has worked its way through to how we've designed our services and then I, I guess there is I hope that transparency there in relation to our charter which holds us to account in relation to our performance and again in developing that charter that was done with citizens of Scotland, you know, listening to what it was that, that, that this, this system should have within it and what it should embody. Um, and we're held to account against that as well, so annually we, we report against that. I would say in relation to the Charter, um, it does enshrine what it is that, that we you know, not only aspire to be but hopefully are as an organisation, so it should underpin that human rights based approach that we're taking. And there are certain key elements in it that, that I would say that, that hold us to account and we track measurement against that perhaps other organisations don't. And one of those kind of key things is, is, a, is a measure of kindness, just in terms of that kindness, in terms of how we interact with, with clients and how that service feels. Um, I think we're the only public body in Scotland who has that as a, as a measurement in terms of the service provision that, that we give and I think it's really important to, to who we are and, and, and how we want to be seen. I think we are the only public body, um, certainly in Scotland, who, who take that measure and, and kind of play that back in, in terms of our client survey and I think it sits at about 93 or 94 percent in terms of a positive indicator. Um, and again it's one indicator but I think it's a really powerful indicator of um, the values and how those values have landed with our people and how they're then interacting with our clients throughout the process of um, their application. I think that is something we're rightfully proud of as an organisation and I hope speaks well to, to what it is in terms of how we're portraying our values.